Hi! Today I want to make some cute magnets with foam clay. I already got some colors I've mixed before. I'm going to use them too. And I'm also going to need some magnets. I've got some really tiny ones, some super glue to attach them and some tools to like make some marks on the clay. And yeah, that's it. So let's start. I made some sketches. I want to make some cute animals on flowers. And I think I'm going to start with the orange flower and the frog. To keep the clay fresh, I like to wrap it in some foil and then put it in a bag because just one of them isn't enough to keep it fresh over a long time. Especially the smaller parts, they always dry out. So I'm going to mix some green for the frog. So most of the times when a piece of the clay already dried out, I mix it really hard with the rest of the clay and normally it becomes really soft again. So to get kind of even pieces, I roll out the clay and then I'll just try to cut like same size pieces off of that. So now I just choose the ones that are most similar in size and the other ones I mix again and I'll just make a bigger ball for the middle. And this one I'm going to flatten and now I can assemble the first flower. Now I'm going to decorate the flower a bit. So I'm going to put some tiny yellow balls right in between the petals. And now it's time to add the frog. I'm flattening the ball a bit. Then I'm forming two same sized balls, pressing them into circles. And these I'm going to push against the top part here. And now I can add the eyes. I'm forming two small clay balls and then I'm going to make a bit of a dent where they should sit. And now I just have to place them and they sit perfectly. He also needs a little mouth. For that I'm going to roll out a little bit of the clay and I'm going to form that into kind of a U shape and this I'm just going to attach somewhere at the top and now we can just attach the frog to the flower. Be careful where you position it. Once it touches, it will instantly stick to it. So now for the next one, I need to mix some pink. I'm going to start with the flower again. So again I sorted them by size and the ones that were bigger I formed into a big ball and I'm going to flatten it again and hopefully they are enough to go around it. Now I want to try and decorate this flower with these dotting tools.
and now I'm going to need white to form the bunny. First I start with a bowl again and I'm going to flatten it until it's kind of the size of the middle of the flower. And then I'm going to form the ears. It's really easy to shape this clay with your fingers. It's just important that the clay isn't dry, otherwise you will get a lot of wrinkles. And now I can just attach the bunny ears. I'm going to use some of the pink for the inside of the ears. Again, I'm just going to shape it with my finger and when I'm happy with it, I'll just place it onto the ears. And then I'm going to use the black for the eyes and the nose. Again, I'm going to make a dot where I want the eyes to sit. It just makes it a lot easier to place them correctly. And I'm making the nose like really small. And then the bunny will also get some pink cheeks. Again, just two small balls. Press them into a circle and then I can attach the bunny to the flower and just push like a little bit and it should be attached. So next I'm going to make the cat with the yellow flower. For this flower I'm going to make some marks with uh, this knife. And now I'm going to make a pink cat. I'm going to shape kind of a triangle for the ears and I'm just going to attach them to the top. I'm going to take some white for the inside of the ears. I'm also going to use some white for the face. Now I will need some black again and I'm going to shape like a really small triangle for the nose and this I'm going to attached to the white part. Then I will roll out the clay and I will cut some parts for the eyes. And now we just attach it to the flower again. So now on to the last one. I want to make a tiger on a blue flower. And for the tiger, I start with yellow. Then I'll form two half circles for the ears. And those I'll just attach a bit to the side. Then I'm going to use some orange. And I'm going to cut six similar pieces. And I'm going to start with attaching two at the top of the head. I'll just kind of wrap it around and then I'm going to add two to each side and then it's gonna look something like that and now I will add the face I start with the nose I'm making again kind of a really small triangle and then again I'm forming two really small balls and I'm going to make a mark where they will sit and I'll just have to place them and push them in there a bit. I want to use some white for the inside of the ears, just forming a half circle again. I really like how the tiger turned out. And now I can just attach him to the flower again. So now I'm going to need the magnet. 
Unfortunately, I only have these really small ones, but for these clay magnets, I think it would be a lot better to get like a flat and bigger one, but I'm going to have to work with those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a bit of a dent for this magnet and then I'm just going to place it in there and then I'm going to let them dry with the magnet in there and when they're dry we can finish them up. So it's two days later and the foam clay is almost dried through. Now the only thing left to do is to take out the magnets and glue them onto the foam clay with some super glue. Now I'm just going to let the glue dry and then they're ready to use. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would help me out a lot if you press the like button. And if you want to see more, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I'll see you in the next one.